Today, we are going to make pizzas in the Workhorse 1975 Smoker. One pizza in the smoke chamber and one pizza in the firebox. Which one will be better? We are going to start off with 500 grams of flour and 15 grams of salt. 350 grams of 95 degree water. We're going to add 5 grams of sugar and 1 packet or 10 grams of active yeast. Mix to combine. While the yeast is doing its thing, pulse the dry ingredients together. We are going to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and mix for 15 minutes. I had an issue with the dough setting on my processor, so I had to swap to a mixer halfway through. After mixing for 15 minutes, let rest for 15 additional minutes, and then mix again for five minutes after the 15 minute rest. Now we need to grease a large bowl with food lube and place the dough inside, then cover with a towel or plastic wrap. Let this sit on the counter for two to two and a half hours. While the dough is resting, we can start making our pizza sauce. Start by crushing or dicing up five large garlic cloves or seven small cloves. Heat some olive oil in a saucepan and brown the garlic. Once the garlic is browned, we're going to add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. some Italian seasoning, some meat church holy cow seasoning, some white sugar, and some salt. Mix to combine. Once mixed, don't forget to taste test your sauce. Here I decided I needed more Italian seasoning, so just add that. Mix again and give it another taste. And we can let this cool in the refrigerator overnight. After the two and a half hour rest period, we're gonna divide our dough into two, just dump it out onto a floured cutting board, split it in half, Place each half of the dough in its own bowl, coated with food lube. Cover and store in the refrigerator up to 24 hours. Remember to pull the dough out about one hour before cooking to let it warm up. When ready, stretch your dough onto a floured cutting board or a pizza peel and stretch the dough out. Spread out some of our cooled pizza sauce. Add your toppings. Here I am using some Doritos hot mustard pulled pork I made in a previous video. Here I'm using Colby pepper jack cheese. They were out of block and shredded, so I'm just using slices. When ready, put your pizza on a preheated pizza stone in your smoker running at about 500 degrees. 
Here I'm using the baffle plate to force the heat directly down on top of the pizza. Check and rotate the pizza often. It'll cook pretty fast from here. All right, the pulled pork pizza is done. We're gonna pull this one off and we're gonna get the kids pizza ready. It's just a simple cheese pizza. For the second pizza, we just move the stone over to the firebox. And same thing, we're just gonna constantly keep an eye on the pizza, make sure it doesn't burn and rotate as necessary. Once finished, pull it off and we'll get these cut up. I did end up losing some footage about my thoughts on the pizzas. I can say that the pulled pork pizza on the left that was cooked in the smoke chamber is better in every way. And it cooked in about half the time. If you try this, have any other thoughts or suggestions, please let me know by posting them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, help me out by hitting that thumbs up and subscribe button.